Welcome to Azure International School's virtual classes. Good morning, Grade 3 students. Today, I will explain or make a quick revision about some grammar lessons. The first lesson we talked about adjectives. Adjectives. What is the meaning of adjectives? Adjectives is the word that describes a noun. Describes a noun or tell us more about a noun. Like a person, thing, place, or describe a thing. For example, when I said, I have a big ball, I have a big ball, here big is an adjective. My ball is big, here big also is an adjective. So adjective can come in any place on the sentence. There is no rules to come only before the noun. It can come after the verb to be, like my ball is big. Here are some examples of adjectives that describe the thing. Big, many, Lovely, expensive, verbal, round. Also, we can consider that all the colors are adjectives. All the shapes are adjectives. All numbers are adjectives. Here, tall. We can describe the person tall, smart, cute, shy, funny, beautiful. Or describing a place like a huge, huge school, huge garden. My school garden is very huge. Fancy, amazing, nice, attractive, noisy. Now we will try to answer some examples. He wore a yellow shirt. What is the noun in this sentence? Shirt shirt there there is any word tell us more about shirt or describe the shirt or a regular shirt only shirt or no it's a certain shirt what is that yellow shirt so here yellow is an adjective i saw many people at the event so what is that noun here? People. Okay. And event also is a noun. But event, there is nothing describing word about event. But for people, yes, many people. Many people. He likes bright colors. He likes bright colors. Colors? Is a noun. Where is the descriptive word? Bright. Bright is an adjective. Her necklace looks very expensive. Her necklace looks very expensive. Where is the noun? Necklace. There is any word to tell us more about necklace? Yes, expensive. 
the sentence tells us that the necklace is expensive. So expensive is an adjective. I went to a fancy restaurant with my friends. I went to a fancy restaurant with my friends. Here, this, the noun is restaurant. There is any words tell us more about the restaurant? Describe a restaurant? Yes, fancy. Fancy. Yes, like, like elegance or something like this. I was invited, invent, invited to a special occasion. I was invited to a special occasion. Where well, here the noun? Occasion. Okay, this is the regular occasion or a special occasion. So, special is an adjective. The man is very tall. The man is very tall. The noun here in this sentence, the man, man. Any word tell us more about the man? Describe a man? Yes, tall. So tall here is an adjective. Look here. So the ad adjective, there is no certain place in any sentence. It com can comes after or before the verb, uh, before the noun. Okay, so there is no certain place for that adjective. Here the worksheet with you. You can start to answer this worksheet with me. Or even if you answered it before, just check it with me. Write the adjective that describes each underlined noun. A kimono is made of vivid cloth. Kimono, this is the Japanese paper dress, yes. This is the Japanese dress, like in the picture. A kimono is made of vivid cloth. Cloth is the noun. Where is the word that describes cloth? Yes, vivid. The Japanese word kimonos for a special occasions. Occasions here is the noun. Where is the word that describes this noun? Special. Good. They wear white belts with her with their kimonos. They wear white belts with their kimonos. Where is the noun here? Belts. What is the word that describes this now? White belts. Lovely kimonos are fun to wear. Lovely kimonos are fun to wear. What is the noun? Kimonos. What is the word that describes kimonos? Good. Lovely. Good. The Japanese wear wooden clocks too. Wooden clocks too. Where is the noun? Clocks. Where is the word that describes these clocks? The kind of, of uh, shoes or kind of something wearing in your foot? Wooden. Good. Wooden. Now we will talk about articles. Articles. We talked about the adjectives and now about articles. Articles are kind of adjective, but not describing something, but they can consider it like an adjective, but it's a diff completely different. Here, we have a three articles here. A, an, the. A, an, the. What is the difference using of these three articles? A and an for a singular nouns only, but an for the singular nouns start with the vowel sound. Start with the vowel sound. A for any singular noun not start with the vowel, vowel sound, consonant sound. The for both plural and singular. Use for a plural and singular. And start with any uh, vowel or consonant sound. What is the difference uh, so between the and a and an? 
therefore something we know it before I saw the man in the garden the man so I know this man before I saw the man in the garden if I say I saw a man in the garden any man not a certain one okay this is the difference between using the and a and an articles here a used before a word that start with the consonant example I saw a bird here B, P is a consonant sound not a vowel and used before a word that starts with a vowel example she ate an apple an apple apple start with a vowel sound so I used an Try to answer these examples with me. Circle the correct article. Number one, he bought a or an car. Okay, look to the car word. Start with a consonant vowel, a consonant sound or a vowel sound C. So this is the consonant. A or an A. Yes. He bought a car. I went to zoo. Zoo start with vowel? No, not a vowel. So we use an or the and for the vowel. A the. Good. An or the dress looks very nice. Dress is the noun. Start with the vowel. No, so and not comes with dress. The, the dress looks very nice. I went to a or an fancy restaurant with my friend. Fancy, fancy, F, it starts with a vowel. So A or an, A. We can wear Japanese clothes for a or an outdoor party outdoor party start with a vowel oh yes yeah. so we use an outdoor party here this is the worksheet you have you answer this with me or check only with me Circle the article that correctly complete each sentence and then write the sentence. Then write the sentence. Don't, don't forget. Write the sentence. I bought a or an attractive mom, momo in Honolulu. Momo in Honolulu. Okay. Attractive. Attractive. Start with a vowel or pronunciation vowel. So we use what? A or an. Good. An. And then write the sentence. My dad bought an or the most expensive church. Most. M. This is the vowel sound? No. So we will not use and we use the. My dad bought it the most expensive shirt. The or an shirt has big purple flowers on it. Shirt. Shirt starts with S. So this is the vowel sound? No. So an not come. It's the shirt has big purple flowers on it. We can wear our Hawaiian clothes for a or an outdoor party. Outdoor start with vowel. So a or an, an. Don't forget to write the sentence. Now if we use an adjective words to compare between two things or more than two things. It will be big difference between these two forms. We have a comparative form 
and superlative form. Comparative form is that the adjectives end with the ER sound and it comes with comparing between two things or two people or two places. Like the boy is taller than his brother. I compare here between two people. So I use that comparative form, ER. But if I use a superlative form, EST, it should be comparing between three or more people or places or things. Like, my brother is the tallest one in the class. Here I compare between my brother and the whole class. So I have to use the superlative form EST. ER, we use it to compare between two things or two people or two places. EST between more than three or more. Don't forget to find in the sentence of comparative form, you will find the word than. Than, because than comes to compare between two things or two people or two places but in superlative form there's no than you will find before the adjective that the word that we will see in the examples here big the, com the comparative form of big bigger bigger lions are bigger than monkeys Lions are bigger than monkeys. Here I make a compare between lions and monkeys. Two animals. Two animals. So I use the comparative form ER. ER. And you notice that than is in the sentence. That means it's in the comparative form. Lions are bigger than monkeys. I cannot say lions are biggest than monkeys because it's a compare between two animals and we have a than in that sentence. Smart and smarter. Smart, comparative form, smarter. She is smarter than her sister. Here I make a comparison between sister and she. She and her sister. The girl and her sister between two people so I have to use I should use a comparative form ER and the, the than, than in the sentence than in the sentence so she is a smarter she is smarter than her sister fast or faster fast and faster faster the comparative form faster the boy runs faster than his friend here, the comparing between or the boy and his friend, two, two people. So I use the comparative form er and the uh, than in the sentence. Than in the sentence. So that's me. We have to use a comparative form er faster than his friend. Using the superlative form, big, biggest. Big, biggest. Elephants are the biggest of the three animals here in this picture. Elephant is the biggest of three animals. So here the comparison between elephants and three animals, more than two. So we will use a superlative form, EST. There is any than in the, the sentence, no, but before the adjective, the the word the so elephants are the biggest of three animals smart and smartest she is the smartest girl in the class between the girl and the whole class more than two so we will use the superlative for est and before the adjective we found the word the the article the Okay, there is no than, not comparing between two. 
loud loudest he had the loudest voice of all of all so the comparing between he and the all all so the subclarity for loudest voice and using that before the adjective some adjectives words not short word but long has more than syllables so like the word beautiful intelligent look this is a long long adjective we cannot say beautifuler or beautifulest no it not comes like this we use another word in a comparative form and in a superlative form what is the word using with the long word or long adjective word in the comparative form? More. More. This is instead of ER with the long adjective word. More. Fish are more beautiful than turtle. Here we make a comparison between fish and turtle. Fish and turtle between two animals. So we use the comparative form more why why I don't use the er because the adjective word is a long one a long one a long word beautiful more than two or three syllables more beautiful we use more if the same adjective but we want to put her in or put put it in a superlative form using the est i can't say beautifulest i will say most beautiful in this example john is the most intelligent boy in the class intelligent i can't say intelligentest it's not come like this we use the word most in the superlative form john is the most intelligent boy in the class so for the long adjective intelligent use must in a superlative form and use more in the comparative form don't forget to use that when you found a long adjective don't use er or ast instead you will use more in the comparative form and ast and most in a ast form or superlative form try to answer here this Examples Fish can swim <coughs> fast or faster than turtles. Here we make a comparison between fish and turtles. Two things. There is a than in the sentence. So yes, right, we use faster the comparative form ER. I woke I wake up earlier or earliest than my brother here i make a comparison between me myself and my brother two and then in the sentence so earlier or earliest very easy earlier good the pinata hung high or higher above our heads okay here, binata, where the, where the, the other, the other thing we have to compare between, no, no, there is no in the sentence, and there is any than in the sentence, no, so we will not use a higher, we will use a high, you see here, it's a tricky, tricky one, there is no than, there is no two things to compare between them, so we use a high. Mom sang happy birthday. The louder or loudest of all. Here, compared between the, the voice of the, my mom, it will be louder or loudest of all. There is no than in the sentence. And we have the before the adjective. So, it will be in the Superlative, loudest of all. Here we have two sentences and 
From the, these two sentences, we have to make a one sentence using the, the comparison or the comparing word, like in a comparative form or a superlative form. Pancakes are flavorful. Waves rancheras are more flavorful. Waves rancheras, this is the kind of a breakfast using egg inside the Mexican traditional dish. Pancakes are flavorful. Waves rancheras are more flavorful. So, use here more, more. That means this is in the, in the comparative form. Waves rancheras are more flavorful than pancakes. Waves rancheras are more flavorful than pancakes. Some kites flew high in the sky. A to kites flew the highest of all. The highest of all. Here, that's a clarative. So, how we will say this? A pelitus kite flew in the highest of all kites in the sky. The fish in the aquarium grow big. The fish in the ocean grow bigger, bigger in the comparative. So we need to use a than. The fish in the ocean grow bigger than the fish in the aquarium. Try to do some sentence like this sentence by yourself to know how to make a sentence using the comparative or superlative form. Now we will talk about another thing named adverb. Adjective describes the noun, but adverb describes the verbs, describes a verb and it answers three main questions. When? When the verb this happen? And where? And how? Usually, adverb, usually, not in the whole cases. We use a ly suffix at the end of the adverb. Here's some of the common adverbs. How? Like easily, happily, loudly, quickly, quietly, sadly, slightly, slowly. He runs slowly. So I describe his run by a slowly word. This is an adverb. When? Like after, before, early, now, since, soon, today, yesterday, this is all this adverbs using you know, when, when we talk about when the verb happened. Where, where, away, everywhere, here, home, look home, this is sometimes it comes as a noun or an adjective, but here myself, I'm home, mom. This means that I I am in the home now, so it's using that an adverb inside, near, outside, there. Circle each adverb and write that it tells where, when, or how. He walked inside for a while. Inside for a while. Where the where the, the word talk about where? Where the word talk about where? Where the adverb talk about where? He walked where? Inside. So, inside. This is the word. Or the adverb word talk about where. I watched the movie after studying the lesson. Where the when? The when adverb here. I watch it when? After. Yes. I watched the movie when? After. I quickly ate my breakfast. How I ate my breakfast? How? I? Aha! Uh -huh, quickly ate. So, it talk about how my verb happened. How? They visited their grandparents yesterday. 
when they visited their grandparents when when yes yesterday so look this is the advert that shows a different a different times so where or when or how change every word to an adverb by adding ly recent recently slow quick quickly slow slowly quite quietly loud loudly now we will answer this worksheet i get it to you you have this worksheet as usual, if you answer this worksheet, just check it with us. If not, start to answer this worksheet with me. Underline the adverb in each sentence. Decide what the adverb tells about what happened on the line. Write when, where, or how. Recently, Janjmi said goodbye to her house in Korea. When when Janjumi said goodbye recently, recently and talk about when. She walked outside for a while. Where is the adverb here outside? Outside talk about when or where or how? Where? Yes, she walked outside for a while. She looked at her bedroom and then sighed. She looked at her bedroom and then sighed. Where is the word here? Then. Then. Here it talk about when. Talk about when. Snow was falling softly. How is the snow falling? Softly. So it not talk about when or where, but how. How the snow is falling softly. She hated the idea of moving before. She hated the idea of moving before. Where the adverb here? Before. And talk about when. Now join the verbs of sentence change the underlying word to an adverb by adding ly. Insert the new adverb in the first sentence then underline the adverb. Look. The boy wandered through the house. He was restless. The boy wandered through the house restlessly. So here, instead of he was restless, the boy wandered through the house restlessly. How he wandered restless? Let's talk about how. The boy wandered. How he wandered? He wandered less. Painters had painted each room. They had been careful. They had been careful. Painters had carefully painted each room. So I describe here the word, the, the verb with the word carefully. Carefully does mean when or where or how. Yes, how. The boy thought about meeting new friends. He was eager. He was eager, so the boy eagerly thought about meeting new friends. So how the verb could, can be, this, we, we describe the verb thought with the word eagerly, adverb eagerly. This is when or where or how, also how, how, good. Adverb can be used for a comparing action also. The comparative or separative form can be used to compare action the same, like we used in the subject. He ran faster than his friend. Here, faster, this word, this describe the noun or the verb, describe the verb run. So, it's like an adjective. We use a comparative between this, between two action, between your action and your friend action, and then, then in the sentence. So, we use the comparative for ER as I told you before. He ran faster, but here, this is not an adjective, this is an adverb. 
in the superlative form, the compare between three or more action, as I told you also, she wrote fastest of all. How she wrote? How? Fastest. Fastest, okay, between two person or one person and the, oh, the whole the whole class or the old friends between the old one, more than two. So she wrote fastest of all. Now we will answer these examples. The same like an adjective. There is some adverb with a long, long word. Long or a, a multi syllable word. A lot of syllables like carefully. Carefully. I can say he painted carefully than his brother or carefully or less. So we use more for the long word as an adjective, but for the adverb also. He painted more carefully than his brother. This is between this boy and his brother. So we use the word more. This is the comparative form ER. Instead of ER, we use the more. And there is the than in the sentence. Yeah, there is the than in the sentence, the word than. So it's comparing between two things or two people and then in the sentence so we use a comparative form but because this is the long word a long adverb we use a more not a r she runs most quickly of all here we compare between the runs of this girl and the all more than two so because the quickly is the long adverb word we used not a EST, we used must, like an adjective, must quickly. The girl spoke more loudly than her friend because loudly is a long word or long adverb. We used more. Why we used more, not must, because the, this is the compare between girl and her friend only between two person or two people and then in the sentence so we use more not most start to answer the worksheet with me or check it mrs snatches works harder than anyone else in the bakery harder is the adverb okay an adverb. Harder is an adverb. It talk about how how he wor works or she works harder. Mr. Lane rolls out pastry dough more rapidly than she does. If there is a comparing between Mr. Lane and the other woman so more rapidly this is that adverb more rapidly mrs snatches makes the delicious trays fastest of all the bakers fastest of all the bakers here we make a comparison between mrs snatches and the, all the bakers so more than two we use the subclarative form the sweet trolls disappear most quickly of all most quickly because i compare between the sweet tools and the other sweets more than two sweets all sweets so we use a most because quickly is the long word long adverb we can use no cannot use the est quickly yes to no so we use a most why i use most because they compare between the sweet tools and the whole sweets. One oven cooks faster than the other oven. One oven cooks faster than the other. Here, faster, faster, it describe how the oven this cook. This one cook and another, another oven. One oven and another one. So this is two things, two ovens, okay? We have a done in the sentence, so we use which form? Comparative or superlative? Comparative, ER. Good. Here, circle the correct word in to complete each sentence. 
everyone worked everyone worked than usual than usual so in the sense we have a than than word and this is compared between now and usual between two things two cases so we use a more carefully because with carefully we cannot use er or est so more carefully or most carefully more why because this is a compare between two things and we have that in the sentence mrs sanchez was finished sooner or soonest than the other we have than so we used what sooner okay because she finished sooner than the other we have than so that compared between two so we use a sooner her scones baked more rapidly or most rapidly of all here between her scones baked this is a kind of sweet baked more rapidly or most rapidly of all of the all other sweets so we used between more than two most rapidly mrs fisher's bagel took longest or longer than mr delory's turnovers between now two persons two persons mrs fisher's and miss delory and we have a then in the sentence we have longest or longer to choose longer mr link's muffin cooked slowest or slower of all of all so between more than two slowest slowest okay so we know now we know the using of adverb to compare between two or more than two in the comparative and subjective form with the er or est or the word more or most i hope you understand this lesson thank you